The basics of creating 3D models in any modeling and animation package is broken down into the creation and the editing of vertices, edges, and polygons or faces as they're known in Maya. Now the creation of these can really take up many different facets and you can create things via primitive objects, you can sketch out simple geometry, you can extrude geometry, you can bevel geometry, you can do a lot of different things to create more geometry, but really when it comes down to it, it's simply the, the creation and the editing of those simple components of vertices, edges, and polygons. So in Maya, you have these three elements, and whether you're modeling with polygon modeling, subdivision surface modeling, or even nerves modeling, these three elements are still there. They just take on slightly different forms and will look a little bit different. But if I select something like a polygon here just by clicking on that face, I can then edit that. And there are three main editing tools that you'll use continuously. They are located on the left hand side of the screen. They are move, rotate, and scale. And they're also hooked to three hotkeys and those are W, E, and R. So you can see my tool handles switch depending on the one that I choose. So W is the move tool. It allows you to move the selected polygons in any direction along the X, Y, or Z axis. E gives you the rotate tool and allows you to do the same thing, rotate in either X, Y, or Z. And then also allows you to rotate based off of screen space, so perpendicular to your screen, and that's the yellow handle around the edge. So let's back up here and get this thing back into place. And then R is the scale tool, which you can scale vertically along the Y, along the X, or along the Z. Or you can scale in all three axes at once by clicking on the center handle and dragging in. And that will make more sense if I select something like this entire sphere here. Let's back up to clear that. Just select the entire sphere by double clicking on the polygons and then go back to the scale tool. And now if I scale this down, you can see the entire sphere scales towards the center of the tool. So you can see then I can also scale on each individual axis. So that's the basics that you have of actually creating. When it comes to selecting these components, there's one thing that you'll need to remember once you have objects created, and that's by right clicking on an object. By default, you'll be in object mode, which will show these green wireframes. You'll know that you're in object mode. I can click on any of my individual elements in the scene and they show the green wireframe and that means that I'm in object mode. So if I right click on that, that's where you start to see the different editing modes. And the three main ones that we just talked about are face, which is polygon. That allows you to select different faces. Edge, which allows you to select different edges. And vertex, which allows you to select the individual vertices. So Depending on the level of editing you need, that's how you can select them. If you might need to be hopping back and forth between selection of vertices, edges, and polygons, then you can choose multi, and then whatever you mouse over is what you can select. So you can see I can easily select any one of those components. Now a couple of side notes on actual selection. When you double click on an edge, it will select an entire edge loop. You can see here this selected a loop around the entire sphere or spheroid object now. So I can double click on each of those and that will give me that selection. I can use my left and right arrow keys to move to previous or next selection of edges or edge loops. And up and down will switch. You can see now I'm selecting the kind of latitude versions of my loops. So it's kind of a, a latitude selection of loops. It's not a loop all the way around, but individual edges all the way around. Okay, and my left and right arrow keys will again get me back to selecting next and previous. Now with faces, it's a little bit different in order to select. If you double click on a face, it will select all of the attached faces. So in this case, everything that's on this sphere. If I select one and then double click on the next face, it will select that loop and it will allow you to see that loop selected there. And the left and right arrow keys will allow you to select the next and the previous, but the up and down arrow keys don't have the uh, similar effect when you're working with polygon faces. So that's the basics of how polygonal models are made up and lightly edited inside of Maya. Selecting and editing, moving, scaling, and rotating vertices, edges, and polygon faces 
will give you the good start of creating geometry in 3D space in Maya.